It makes me think of an allegory about a mule. Hear me out on this because I think it's, I think it's valuable. So there's, the, there's this mule, this farmer, they had an old mule and it was about, you know, it was, it was getting old. And then the farmer also had a well. The well was super deep. It was dried up and it was, it was doing no good for anybody. And dude, one day the mule fell into the well and it fell into the well and the farmer comes out like, holy smokes, it hears the, the mule braying like, ah. Like, what, get me out of here. He's looking down. He's like, there's no way to get this mule out of this well. And so yeah. he's like, well, I don't know what else to do, but to, to bury the old mule in the old well, right? So he, he gets his neighbors and friends and they come and they start shoveling dirt. So shoveling dirt, shovel full after shovel full lands on the mule's back. And the mule's trying to fight and kick and scream and, and it's shaking the dirt off, right? It's shaking the dirt and it, and it, every shovel the, the the mule is shaking the dirt and it's stepping up the mule is shaking shaking it off and stepping up and for hours this happens they're they're trying to bury this mule and the mule is like ah you know, like the thing you know they're trying to bury it to his death and he's trying to fight and dude the mule at the hours later the mule shakes off the last shovel of dirt Mm -hmm. and steps over the well to his to its victory and lives mm -hmm. so jp here's my here's my here's my a takeaway that i want to offer to you bro the very dirt the dirt that was was burying the mule to its grave Mm -hmm. The element that was burying the mule was the, the same element that saved the mule. The dirt, without that dirt, they were supposed to be to, to bury that thing. That dirt saved it. And bro, you have one of the most awesome, epic, radical, terrible, challenging stories of things that have happened to you, bro. And here's the thing. If you allow yourself to be a victim to that, to circumstance, a victim to things around you, that dirt will bury you, bro. Yeah. And dude, but here's the, here's the key, bro. Here's the magic secret. The very dirt, the very challenges, the hardest things, the, 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 the strongest steel on the planet went through the hottest fire. Dude, the very dirt, bro, shake that stuff off. Shake that dirt off and step up, dude. You have it within you. You have the seeds of greatness within you. You've got to shake it off and step up like that mule. And bro, what I'm hearing from you, and I don't know you that well, but I freaking love your guts. And, <laughs> and here's the thing, dude. <clears throat> the only thing keeping JP from what JP wants is the story behind why you can't have it or why what you've gone through makes, do you got to ditch the story, bro? It's time, yeah. for you, time for you to ditch the story, shake that stuff off, step up. And dude, you got to ditch the story. I'm hearing a lot of story from you that's holding you back from you becoming great. And it, the only thing keeping you from being great is that story, dude. Time to ditch that story, shake it off and step up, brother. Yeah, I know. You know, to be honest, I thought I did, but now talking with you, you know, I feel like whether, whether I ditched the, the main story, I started creating a, an, an equal story, you know, as a, you know, uh, to replace it, which I never had a chance to kind of just deal with what I need to deal with and move on. Like you said, shake that dirt off and step over the well, you know, I haven't been able to, to truly do that. And I think this was a really eye opener because you know you're right it is me because <laughs> you don't need um you know a toolbox doesn't make a make a mechanic you know you know the mechanic yeah. makes a mechanic Dude, you yes. know so that's you know you're absolutely right and you know this is this is very beneficial <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed this short video. There's only so much I can share in a few minutes with you. And if you lead a sales team and want to learn the seven most valuable strategies to create a high-performing team, then check out the Sales Leadership Masterclass. This is exactly what I wish someone would have created for me because it would have saved me decades of figuring it out on my own. Now, I've spent 20 years and hundreds of thousands of dollars to learn this stuff so you don't have to. Click on this link right here or in the description below to check it out.